Hello, we are Hyunji Kim, Do Jong-li, and the Jin Jung of Materials and Chemical Engineering to present the advisory points of an engineering student who will lead the first industrial revolution. We will first introduce the first industrial revolution and then release three points in turn. We are currently undergoing a rapid change in the first industrial revolution beyond the third industrial revolution. In this rapid change, we have identified what weapons we should strengthen so that engineering students can lead the first industrial revolution without being dragged. First of all, what is the first industrial revolution? The first industrial revolution is a next generation industrial revolution that is achieved through the convergence of information and communication technologies. It should be noted that various technologies in various fields are converging and changing at a very fast pace. In this rapid change, what many people are afraid of is the change in job style. If you look to the right of this tape, you can see the jobs that are likely to be replaced. Mostly, they are jobs that learn and do things that are already standardized. Conversely, if you look to the left of this tab, there are many technicians and researchers who merely create new things through research and invention. As you can see from this, the first weapon of an engineering student who will lead the first industrial revolution is invention. For jobs that repeat tasks, they are already uniform, it is likely to be replaced by future automation machines. However, I think that engineering students can lead this first industrial revolution through research and invention, not by shaking with the change of the times, but by leading the change of the times. Second weapon is basic and major knowledge. According to an analysis of the differentiated learning patterns of engineering students, they value logic and objectivity in the learning process and show the characteristics of conceptualizing, and they prefer to rely on an outcome and produce clear results. This is consistent with the technology required in the future, such as the graph. The basic and major knowledge that drives this ability of engineering students will be a great weapon in the first industrial revolution. Let's talk about what basic and major knowledge can be a weapon for engineering students. Understand of software. We learn the basic concept of software technology and practice simple program production techniques. Also, we learn about artificial intelligence, IoT, robotics, and manufacturing related technology innovation related to the first industrial revolution. C programming. C language is one of the programming languages and is most commonly used in the field of IT society and engineering as a whole. We learn about this and learn how to solve real problems. General physics, chemical theory, and experiment. The theories and concepts learned in parallel with the theory class are verified through experiments and the actual results are analyzed and interpreted. Knowledge of material chemical engineering. For example, a material chemical engineering capstone design. Capstone approaches can experience designing and solving problems. Through all this knowledge, engineering students will contribute to technology development by applying and utilizing in their respective major fields. Also, we will be able to grow into a person who can read the future of a software-based society. The third weapon is a combatant person. 
in the divided industrial area where boundaries between different fields were clear. Convergence and integration capitalists are now being more important to cross with other's boundaries, explore and solve problems. This is an area in which artificial intelligence and human work together to solve challenges. Future talent should lead the content requested in the problem-solving process, which combine complex situations that AI is difficult to solve and conflict with other person. Students in science and engineering have a higher belief in consent of analysts than students in humanity and social science. Therefore, they developing design thinking more clearly they can flexible utilize it by dividing area between major subjects, cross analysis and learning. So far, we announced the three reports of engineering students in the area of first industrial revolutions. Thanks.